How was your experience here in Medellin? Tell us about why you're here and how did you get to know about us? Well, I've been struggling with injuries for a long time. And uh, one of my friends who also did stem cells uh, in Ukraine, he had sent me some video and a link to Bio Accelerator uh, saying to me, hey, you should check these guys out. They look really good. So I started looking into it and I had already been researching a lot about stem cells and then I ended up coming here. Had you done stem cells before? I had done um, a little bit of stem cells in Belgium, but that was from my own bone marrow. So I, after doing my research, I could see that what you guys were doing here, first of all, it was young cells, so they were more potent. So that really made me uh, think, okay, if I got a, maybe a 10% improvement in Belgium, then maybe here I could get a 100% improvement. Wow, so that decision came up like, okay, let's do it. What about looking into Western medication? Uh, with their regular treatment? Well, I had kind of given up on that because I didn't want to get surgery and I also don't believe that I need it for what I have. So I definitely thought that this was the best option for me. I had kind of exhausted all the treatment options that were available uh, in my country. I'm an educated uh, carpenter originally, so I was working like that, but then I was training MMA since I was 15, training martial arts since I was 12, and later on I was uh, living professionally off of MMA, fighting for uh, Bellator, which you probably know, I've seen you guys have uh, at least two Bellator champs coming here to get treatment, so uh, yeah, through that career I got a, a, a few injuries. Uh, that made me stop and uh, now I'm, I'm working as a personal trainer and I'm actually you know considering going back to fighting if uh, if the result from this treatment is uh, gonna get me where I need to go. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, yes, the, the, runes, the surgery room is ready, the stem cell is ready, the team is ready, okay? And are you gonna, can you tell me a little bit how you're gonna make it for people? And yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, during the, the procedure, the anesthesiology is going to, to do sedation, a little sedation. During the procedure, uh, we are going to tell you about that the procedure, where the position of the needle, and some question about that you feel in your legs and your arms, okay? Okay, okay. Good, okay. That sounds good. Okay. And uh, so once you came here, or once you knew it was in Colombia, what was like your thought on to that? Like my first impression coming here or well, before for, I before came? Before you came here, you know, it's like it's in Medellin, Colombia. Well, to be honest, I was, I was looking at the company and seeing all the people that got treated here. So I didn't like, I wasn't afraid because I was thinking it must be safe. Like the people wouldn't come here, all these people, if it was unsafe. Um, so to be honest, I didn't think twice about it. Um, so maybe that's just me, I'm, I'm not that cautious with these things, but... Yeah. But how has your experience been throughout the week in the city and then in the medical facilities as well, you know? How has everything Well, been? coming to Medellin first, you know, I came at night, I thought my first impression was it was real beautiful with the hills and everything. Um, the hotel was nice, it was very easy to get here. You guys were very friendly and uh, accommodating. You know, if I had any questions or problems, you guys were there to help me. And uh, I was actually also very impressed by the medical facility. When I came there, everything was set up so professionally. When I came here in the office, I realized also that this is not just a small shop, like with a couple people. This is a big company with lots of people involved, which made it seem, you know, very legit to me. Um, so all in all, I was positively surprised. I already had high hopes, but, uh, but, but it, uh, it was even better when I came here.